Hello guys, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Urban Farmers Cooperative. You know what we do here all the time, right? We talk about fish farming. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the disease fin rot. What I've realized over the years is that a lot of people panic when they get a disease attack. On Friday, that was uh, the 13th of October 2023, I did a video that one of our pawns here had an attack which was fin rot and today is the 16th so i just wanted to do an update video and also to tell you the step-by-step -step, um process that we use to actually cure this disease okay fin rot is a bacterial infection of course bacterial infection which is pseudomonas fluorescence yeah that's the name of the bacteria but it can also be caused by some fungal infections as well but it is very common with catfish so if you are running a farm you must have probably had um, these symptoms that you see on the screen right now. But then, I just want to tell you the steps that we used to cure our fin rod. So don't go away. Keep watching. Okay? So the first thing we did was we quarantined some of these fishes. Okay? We had to remove them. This is just a few that I picked for demonstration purposes. But we had to remove them from their main um, um, tarpaulin pond. And we put them in another pond. Okay? So that was the first step. So when we did, what we did was we removed them from their main pond and put them in another pond. You know, a small pond where we call the hospital. It's just kind of like, you know, taking somebody to the hospital. So that, that's the first thing that we did. And the second thing we did was administer the fish cure. Fish cure is very common and it has what we call OTC or oxytetracycline, commonly called OCC in the fish language, okay? So that's what we gave them and the dose was... 100 mils in 1000 liters so you can just calculate that so what we did was we reduced the water quantity as you can see here to the barest minimum and we administered this fish cure and let it there for at least four hours before changing the water and then after that we also did what we call a salt bath a salt bath is actually using normal table salt and you know putting it in the water for at least one hour before changing so after doing that salt bath for the past three days, this is the result that we had. I'm just going to show you how, you know, they have already started healing. All of them, are, they're not like 100% um, healed, but I mean, the healing process is going on. So I'm going to bring more videos about this healing or this process, but let's look at how the fishes look like right now. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, this is how their fish now look like. Oh, wow. So you can see it was really reddish before, but it has like, you know, it is starting to heal. I can show you this one here. This is the fins here. And the fishes now look more healthier. If you can see here, they react far more better than they used to. All of these fins were all red. But, okay, look at this here. Look at this here. See, just look at this. Okay. So you see, it is, it is far better than it was the other day. Okay guys, so as you can see, they are already getting better after just three days just by using OTC or oxytetracycline and, you know, a salt bath. So if you're having this in your pond, please make sure you cure them immediately before you have an outbreak. Guys, I just want to tell you that this video was brought to you by Siri Fish Feed. So if you're in Cameroon and you're not using Siri Fish Feed, you're probably losing something, right? Because with Siri Fish Feed, you actually reduce your costs and of course increase your profitability or the profitability of your farm so if you are new to fish farming or you want to learn anything about fish farming contact us the numbers are on the screen and every weekend we uh, organize fish farming trainings for people who want to get into fish farming okay our next fish farming training will be on the 4th of november it's a saturday um the 4th of november 2023 so you can just 
you know, uh, come here and be part of it. Call the numbers on the screen, send us a WhatsApp, and register to be part of our fish farming training that's coming up next. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.